Another important uh, activity that I think GSA, SOGI, all student advocacy groups should consider taking on is doing a mission and values review. Now, I think it's really helpful when we can go to some mentor texts to see some quote unquote real life examples of how brands are thinking about their broader mission in society as a business. Two examples that I love to point folks to, I'll go through in just a moment, but I think there's real value in going local and thinking about the businesses and brands that your students and your group care about. So I'll be sure to include both of these examples in the video description. Let's take a look at Patagonia first. So when you head over to their website, you can scroll down and see what their core values are all about. Um, again, I think this is a really great conversation starter for students. I think it's also a really great exercise to go and look at their social media to do some research and to see, it, to see whether or not a company or a brand is staying true to its mission and values. The other one that I think is really great to look at is Ben and Jerry's. Uh, take a look at their values. Think about why they include, you know, why would an ice cream brand include their values, how they do business, um, information about the issues that they care about. Why would they include this on their website? And again, really great exercise to try and dig into this even more and to see to what extent Ben and Jerry's are staying true to their word. Again, I think the best examples are ones that have real relevance and meaning in students' life. So if you've got a local sports club or all of your students are fans of one team uh, or of one league, it's interesting to go and look at what they say their broader purpose is. Now, ChatGPT is also an interesting avenue to pursue in inviting ChatGPT to give us a look at what they would draft as a mission statement for um, a GSA. Again, just like in the last video, you can really play around with that. So let's take a look at how you might model and again, investigate where are we seeing some bias perhaps in chat GPT? Um, you know, how is it maybe, again, it's important to remind students, chat GPT isn't necessarily thinking, it's scraping information and language off the internet. Um, so to what extent is it doing a good job of really understanding the role of a GSA versus how contextual is that mission for your community? Let's take a look. So here I am prompting ChatGPT to write a mission statement for a middle school GSA group. Let's see what it comes up with. While we're at it, I would also recommend it's interesting to ask ChatGPT to create a mission statement for a school, compare it to your school, and see how generic your school's description is. And again, just playing around with formatting, I've asked ChatGPT to reformat the mission statement using bullet points. So we might want to have a conversation as a group. How accessible is our mission statement? What might we need to do in terms of reformatting it? And here I'm going to prompt ChatGPT to rewrite the statement again, making links to human rights. you might pick and go even more local and ask it to connect to rights in your state, in your province, in your country. I'm asking ChatGPT to update this statement, including quotes from Bell Hooks and Adrian Marie Brown. Your group might have other leading thinkers who are at the foundation of the work that you do. And I would always recommend, you'll see in a moment, I will prompt ChatGPT to give me the citations, but 
like everything that we do online, fact checking is really, really important. So I think it would be a good practice to go and double check if it's giving us quotes, are they accurate? If it's giving us citations, are those accurate? And lastly, I'm going to ask ChatGPT, give me the statement in a call to action style, which includes questions. So again, if your group is going through the process of redrafting a mission statement, I think this is a really effective way to generate some mentor texts. And I'm saying, full stop, I'm not suggesting this is drafting your final draft. This is about that ideation process and trying to gather lots of different ideas so that students then are doing that work of final drafting, contextualizing, and co-creating a mission statement that represents their group. Lastly, for students and groups that um, keep their school board up to date about the work that they do, here we go. I'm asking it to write that letter to the school board for us. Again, as a rough draft thought partner, I think there's real potential for ChatGPT to make some of our processes a little more streamlined, or at least to give us an idea of where we might start. And then in closing, I think it's great to return once more to these three questions and perhaps go back to that open AI charter. <laughs>